Rising Collectives, and welcome back for a general reading. This is for Libras. Let's tap into your energy, Libra, and see what is going on currently in your love life. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius because we're in Scorpio season, followed by a Sagittarius season. Uh, this is a general love reading, Libra, so only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. So you got that enigma energy. It's something about the unknown. So you may not be seeing things correctly. You may not be seeing the full picture. There, there, it's, it's like there is an urgency to know everything. It's, it's like it's like it's trying to control the narrative. And I feel like you somebody may be running up into a brick wall here, right? Uh, so let's see what this energy is telling you. This is your ancestral secrets to help you out. You got the unknown, enigma, wanting to know the unknown. It's almost it's kind of like the moon, but it's not. Enigma is the need of. Let's see. So it says, still trying to control everything, Libra. The answers you seek are unknowable at this moment, or the divine is not ready to give you the full picture right now. Nothing is certain. This is not a yes or no, but a pause. Trusting the unknown is about having unwavering faith. Believe in your bones that your ancestors have your back and are guiding you towards something greater. It may feel scary, but when we trust, amazing things can happen. The unknown calls us to step into a world of infinite avenues where dreams are born and miracles unfold. Let go of expectations and open yourself up to what could be, all right? So your ancestor memory here, Libra, it says if you were close to a family member or other or other person when they were in the physical realm, they are likely still with you now. The unknown ancestors are also still loving and protecting you. On a soul level, we know all of our ancestors. Put your hands over your heart, feel into uh, their guidance and affirm just for today, I know that I am safe. So your ancestor medicine for the unknown, Libra, is if something is out of alignment with your nervous system, you will reject it. This includes all of your intentions, goals, dreams, and plans. It is important to become comfortable with being uncomfortable so that you can continue to take risks to grow, evolve, and expand. So your declaration, Libra, is I am being guided and protected. And that's all you need to know. Don't get your panties in a bunch trying to figure everything out because it's almost like one of these things here <laughs> you know to acquire knowledge is a beautiful thing right you would think that right but trying to acquire knowledge is just going to be you're going to want more and more and more and more and more and the more you know the more it's going to agitate your soul i'm telling you it's almost like we want to know everything, but if we know everything, that's going to, sometimes it's going to uh, determine what we, what we do. It's like, if you know for a fact that something is a guarantee, yes, then you may pull all the way back and feel like you ain't got to do no work. And if, if you feel like it is a no, then your energy is going to drop because you're going to feel like you're losing something. So this is the time to trust in what you don't see and know that whatever situation this is, the universe has your back and it's trying to get you to a higher level of consciousness so that you don't panic and you can just relax and just let it be. This is a love reading, all right? So it's about the love, all right? So look, starting this reading off, you got the six of wands. Uh, paying attention to something, victory, success. There you go, Libra, justice, balancing things out. Uh, things coming back. See, there it is, the moon. And there you are, stressed and worried about something that you don't see. I'm telling you, this, your first card is six of wands and justice. Whatever it is, you're going to have victory in it. You're going to have victory in what you don't see, but you got to trust. Uh, so I feel like Spirit is telling you to stop worrying, stop, uh, you know, calm your energy. Because stressing don't make it better, it makes it worse. So what is the message for Libras in love and this love Vember energy? You could be dealing with another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So what's going on for Libras in the unknown enigma? Number 44, this is a spiritual lesson. So the things that you're not seeing is intentional because the universe know you 
And there go the hermit here. See, because I feel like there's a need to soul search and introspect because you may have not been doing that. So what is the message for Libras? Could be dealing with a, a, a Virgo, a Pisces, another Libra. And there is a Queen of Wands. So you worried about a fire sign and there go the Fool and there go the Knight of Cups. And there go the sun in the reverse. And there you are, Libra, or that's your person, the empress. It could be a, you could have a child with this person here. It could be a Leo, it could be an Aries, it could be a fire sign. But you got the Knight of Cups here. So somebody here, are you worried that somebody's offering their love somewhere else? Because you got the Nine of Swords, the Hermit, and the Queen of Wands. Are you worried about them? Are you worried that somebody's going to reject you? Because you got, it's almost like somebody's going to have to take a leap of faith here. So I feel like something is on somebody's mind, but I feel like somebody don't want to take the risk because they, they, don't, they don't know the answers, all right? So check it out. It ain't faith, Libra, if you do something because you know the outcome, but it is faith if you do regardless of whatever the outcome is because you know that regardless, you're going to be all right. You know, that's what life is all about. It's all about risk. We have to take so many risks in life because... How are we going to grow? How are we going to learn? How are we going to discover our own strengths and our own weaknesses? How are we going to know what to work on if we're not uh, challenged in it? So it's not it's not coming at you. on uh, uh, It's not attacking you. It's to get you where you need to be. So let's see for Libras in the unknown. What is the message of love for Libra in the unknown? Tell me who, who's getting on your love. Who's getting on my time? You did you whoa? I've been I've been popping it, bumping it. it Seems like every time I get in my ride, they be playing this song. Somebody won't know who getting a residual. God dang it! All right, who, who what you been doing? So you could be worried about what somebody else is doing here, okay? <laughs> oh, but you don't want to reach out to them because you may be afraid. See, like I said, somebody want to know something. So I feel like somebody's life that you want, their life is being obstructed because if you know it's going to determine how you move or the lack thereof. So it don't matter how much you research. It don't matter how much you look. I feel like spirit's not going to let you see because it's something you need to do. Six of swords, see? I feel like you want to do this, but I feel like you need to know what's going to happen. So let's see why it's the six of wands here for Libras in uh, the unknown. What is the message of love for Libras? In this six of wands with the unknown. Uh, this is something, this is getting a lot of attention. You could be looking at somebody getting a lot of attention or you, something has come to your attention about a situation. For some of you guys, you may, something may be coming to your, your attention about a situation that was not fair. And I feel like you may want to make it right with somebody, but I feel like you're scared that it's too late. Look, there go the lovers. That's what I'm getting. I feel like somebody wants somebody back, but maybe there was something that wasn't right about this connection. And I feel like somebody don't want to take no unnecessary risks. See, they go the Knight of Wands, but you're going to have to. The Nine of Wands, see? See? That's what Spirit is trying to get someone here to either. I feel like what this judgment is, is having a spiritual awakening where you're not so consumed with knowing the outcome. Because it's almost like somebody ain't going to make a move unless they know for sure that they can come out on top. But it don't work like that. So, like, I feel like I feel like this is a spiritual awakening. I feel like, see, somebody in their head about somebody here. I feel like spirit is trying to get you to a place of comfort here, see? And it could be a water sign here. I feel like you're worried that someone doesn't feel the same way about you. Because you somebody watching somebody. So, who is this queen of wands? What is the unknown for Libra? You got the Empress and they go the Ace of Cups, see? So what's up with this Queen of Wands for Libra? What is the unknown for Libra with this Queen of Wands? Like somebody could be looking at somebody, see? They go to Page of Cups. I feel like somebody's scared to make a move because I feel like somebody's scared that somebody don't feel the same way about them, see? This is somebody, see, and it's somebody from your past. And there's a lot of regrets, see? See, there go the nine of cups in the reverse. There it is. I feel like somebody has a lot of attraction to someone. Someone may used to show a lot of love and affection, but I feel like somebody could be blocking you. 
So someone could have you on block because maybe they felt like it wasn't a fair, a balanced relationship. Maybe they felt like you wasn't offering something. Maybe they felt like you wasn't opening up. Why is the hermit here for Libra? What is the message in this unknown? Why is the hermit here? Yeah, I feel like it's somebody. I feel like it's something that you're checking on, but you, you're not aware of it. And you're not going to make a move unless you know for certain. But the Spirit is telling you it don't work like that. You don't have, it's a lot of times you ain't going to know everything. And you still going to have to make a move, see? They go to High Priestess and the Magician card. Look at all these spiritual cards, see? I feel like Spirit is trying to get somebody to a spiritual level of confidence here, see? But more than that... It's like the unknown, uh, it start off saying still trying to control everything, right? All you have to do is manifest what you want because spirit is telling you because somebody insecure, see? I feel like this is somebody here who don't feel good. Somebody is insecure, okay? And I feel like spirit is trying to remind you that you have everything you need to manifest, but you're going to have to connect with spirit here and trust the divine, trust what spirit is showing you. Do a lot of introspecting, a lot of soul searching. It's almost like you got to do some inner work here. See, spirit is telling you, Libra, that if you do some spiritual soul searching, you tap in spiritual, you're going to have all the answers you need, see? So for some of you, Libra, Spirit's not showing you everything because you need to tap in spiritually to see it from a spiritual perspective because you may be looking at it physically and you can't see it. And so Spirit is telling you, if you see it physically, you're not seeing it right, see? Because I feel like somebody is in their head doubting everything. Ooh, Libra, whoa. So why is the moon here for Libra? This could be a Pisces. Clarify the moon. I feel like this is fear. These are illusions. These are things that, that's keeping someone from, from doing what they need to do. Someone keeps coming up, see? And there's the two of cups, see? <clears throat> Ace of cups in the reverse. Three of cups, see? Because I feel like somebody wants somebody here, but I feel like somebody's afraid that maybe they with somebody else here. And I feel like somebody don't want no unexpected surprises here. You see, somebody trying to act like they got it all together. They're trying to control this. I feel like somebody can't handle rejection because they're insecure. But it's almost like spirit's trying to get you a place where you don't have to go outside yourself. You just got to tap in. So if you're not doing your spiritual work for yourself, you're going to miss it. But spirit's telling you, you don't have to stress about it if you start soul searching and connect with source. See? Could be done with an Aries or a Scorpio. Mm. Why is the Nine of Swords here again for Libra? <laughs> oh, I feel like this is someone from your past that you're in separation with, all right? So look, you got the Emperor and the Empress. I just saw this, see? So whoever this person is, this is your divine counterpart. See, and once again, you thinking that it can't happen, but there it is. Because you got the Ace of Cups in the reverse next to the Two of Cups. Somebody may feel like all the love is gone. Somebody, somebody is self-sabotaging this. Because they don't see it, somebody is thinking the worst. And the only reason why somebody is thinking the worst is because they're not tapped in spiritually. So why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here for Libras in the unknown? Nine of Swords. The hangman, see? <laughs> So someone not taking no action, they just hanging in the balance, ain't nobody doing nothing. I feel like somebody's not coming to you because maybe you pushed them away, maybe because you doubted it. Whatever the reason is, you're going to have to take action here. You take action, you don't know what can happen until you do it. See, spirits, see, there it is again, see. There it is again, the fool. You're going to have to take actions if you want this. See, there it is. See, I feel like you can have it here because you start off with the six of wands here with justice. It just has to be balanced. It can't be no one-sided relationship, especially if it's someone you're trying to... See, and there go that empress. See, now either you the empress, either way it go, you got the emperor and the empress. So this is definitely a divine connection. So I can see why somebody in their head but it must have been something that, see, somebody was listening to their ego, see? There it is. So somebody's insecure, but they try to act like they're not. Because I feel like whoever this person is, there's a lot of attraction there. And I feel like the same person ain't showing you the type of attention that they used to. Because maybe they got tired of dealing with this. 
I feel like somebody's worried that somebody's going to either be rejected or somebody may have moved on with their life. So why is justice here for Libra? Clarify justice. Why is justice here for Libra? Three of Wands in the reverse. I feel like someone here is not is not looking at things correctly because there go the devil. I feel like somebody has already canceled out this connection before they've even started because somebody keeps self-sabotaging it with their thoughts because they don't know everything. But this is somebody's unhealthy because somebody needs to focus on their healing, see? Because they, see, somebody know they want it. But I feel like they're not going to get it unless they make a move. Because if somebody trying to see, Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands in the reverse, and the Four of Wands in the reverse. I feel like somebody's extremely attracted with somebody. I feel like this is somebody, y'all had a lot of chemistry with each other. But maybe somebody's insecurities got in the way of this connection and it pu pushed somebody away. And I feel like somebody wants the other one back, but they don't, they don't, they're, they don't know how to do it because they're not tapped in spiritually. So if you find yourself in some type of challenge situation, it's not by accident. It's to get you to a place of confidence here. Why well, is the four here for Libra? You could be dealing with another Libra, a Aries, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Aries, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Taurus. The fool. See, somebody got to take a leap of faith, see? And they go to Six of Pentacles in the reverse, see? See, because I feel like it was a one-sided relationship. Because that's why you got justice here. Why is the fool here? So I feel like somebody's going to take a leap of faith towards someone that they did not treat right in the past. And I feel like this is why it's going to be a leap of faith. Oh, somebody want to come make it right, see? Because you got the Ten of Cups. I feel like this is somebody here who you really, really in. Could be a Scorpio. You're having close. I feel like you. it's not over. See, and there go the nine of pentacles. I feel like somebody somebody may have been working on themselves. So for some of you Libras, if it's somebody here who you really, really want, you're going to have to do the inner work. But I also feel like you're rushing in. You're going to end up rushing into somebody too because there's an undeniable chemistry between you two. Why is the knight of cups here for Libras? Clarify the knight of cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Taurus, look, you got everybody here, see? And there go the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Because I feel like somebody not being honest with themselves. I feel like this is a relationship that you're separated from. And I feel like you want this person, but you, you want it to be easy for you. But Spirit ain't going to make it easy, see? Because this is obviously someone here that you could have something with. See? But I feel like you're worried that they may not still be single here. See? But it also represents somebody want to go in there and work things out with somebody here. See? But you're going to have to do it because you know you want that person. See? Oof, my gosh. Now you got the sun in the reverse. Why is the sun in the reverse for Libra? It's like, ooh, somebody's going through it here. So you could feel like your person is hiding things or you could be somebody could have been avoiding a change. But with the sun card, things are going to turn around or things are going to come to the lights because you got the ace of swords. So it's almost like stop worrying about something you don't even know about. Go for it. Go find out here. You close mouth. Don't get fed. See the sun card in the reverse, the ten of pentacles in reverse. And they go to four of pentacles. I feel like somebody was holding back. Somebody is holding back in their waiting because somebody lacks the courage. Because once again, whoever this person is, they, you may feel like they're not giving you the attention you wanted or you want because maybe they messed up the relationship. Maybe you, look, somebody, somebody didn't get to this relationship right. It was a one-sided relationship, all right? Because like I say, maybe somebody wasn't offering something and I still feel like somebody's still trying to play it safe. They want somebody, but they don't want to put the work in to get them. And Spirit's saying, if you don't put that work in, Libra, you're not going to get it. And you got a real beautiful connection here, Libra, all right? So, Libra, your energy is the unknown enigma. It says nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You got to take a risk. You, you, you got to put yourself out there because I'm telling you, you gonna, 
whatever this situation is, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be victorious in it. But you're not gonna know that unless you do something you've never done before, because this is the time of change and evolving and expansion. You can't stay the same because it doesn't work anymore. All right, that's your reading. Leave us please like, share, and subscribe.